English 5 Quarter 4 Week 1 Milk Base Let's learn about Using verbal and nonverbal cues in a TV broadcast Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frell Don't forget to subscribe Like And share hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in English 5, we will discuss about using verbal and nonverbal cues in a TV broadcast. For most essential learning competencies, Use verbal and nonverbal cues in a TV broadcast. Infer target audience. And infer purposes of the visual media. To begin another milestone in English 5, this lesson will prepare you for your advanced lesson in analyzing visual and multimedia elements. Today, you will identify, distinguish, and utilize visual media tools in terms of television broadcasting in identifying and using various and appropriate verbal and nonverbal cues. In this lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Use verbal and nonverbal cues in a TV broadcast. 2. Infer target audience. And 3. Infer purposes of the visual media. Whenever you watch TV for news broadcasts, what do you observe about the presenters or broadcasters? Do they make you understand the news clearly and effectively? Why? Television is one of the most powerful tools in communicating information, especially in news broadcasting. TV news broadcast is considered the most frequent and trusted source of information. Communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place to another. Communication can be spoken or verbal communication. It can be face-to-face, -face, telephone, radio, or television. And other media or nonverbal communication, like body language, gestures, how we dress or act our scent. In a television broadcast, the director should use a series of standards, calls, and set procedures to direct the efforts of the video crew. A consistency of protocol allows the crew to anticipate their responsibilities by following standard operating procedures with clearly defined and universally understood jargon. Here are examples of verbal and nonverbal cues used in a television broadcast. These verbal and nonverbal are Stand by Speed up Okay Stretch or slow down. Keep talking on time. Q. Come closer. Go back. 30 seconds. 15 seconds. 4 minutes countdown. You are in camera. And cut. And these are the hand signal and these are all examples of nonverbal cues. Stand by. Speed up. Okay. Stretch or slow down. Keep talking. On time. Cut. Come closer. Go back. Stop. Don't move. 30 seconds. 15 seconds. 4 minute countdown and you are on this camera and 
now, let us proceed to our learning task. Learning task 2. Use the appropriate verbal and nonverbal cues in the following television broadcast situations. Choose your answer from the given choices. Do this in your notebook. The words that you are going to choose are Keep talking Cut You are in camera Stand by 30 seconds Number 1 The director signals the anchor to look at the camera. What is the appropriate cues for this situation? Very good! The answer is You are in camera. Number 2. The director wants everybody in the set to stand by in one minute. What is the appropriate cues for this situation? Very good! The answer is Stand by. Number 3. The director signals to stand by in 30 seconds. What is the appropriate cues for this situation? Very good! The answer is 30 seconds. Number 4. There is remaining time in the set. The director wants the anchor to talk more and spend the time left. What is the appropriate cues for this situation? Very good! The answer is Keep talking. And number 5. This means over. Cut the show and it is finished. What is the appropriate cues for this situation? Very good! The answer is Cut! For learning task 3, have you ever watched a game or sports competition aired live on TV? Create a sports cast script. Memorize and practice delivering it. Be guided on the use of verbal and nonverbal cues in a TV broadcast. Use the following rubric below as guide standard in writing a script. So here is the guide or rubric for sports cast writing. We have here the different criteria. The first one is content and relevance of ideas. Next, organization of ideas. Language. Persuasion. Four points if the sports cast script is rich with ideas that are relevant to the team. Ideas are logically presented. Shows clarity and is effective in delivering the message. There is no error in grammar. And highly persuasive. You will get three points if the sports cast script contains lots of ideas that are mostly relevant to the team. Most of the ideas are logically presented and most of the time, they engage the readers. Mostly clear and effective. There is an error or two in grammar. And most of the parts of the sports cast script are persuasive. Two points for the sports cast script has many ideas, but most of these ideas do not show relevance to the team. Some ideas are logically presented, somewhat clear and a bit effective. There are 3 to 4 errors in grammar. And some parts of the sports cast script are persuasive. And one point, if the sports cast script lacks content and the few that are included are not relevant to the team. The ideas do not show logical connection. It's not clear and effective. There are more than 4 errors in grammar. And the sports cast script does not persuade. For learning task 4, write a dialogue in your notebook about the current community quarantine status in your locality. Choose the use verbal cues below and then continue the sentence. Pretending you are a TV news anchor. Make use of and guided by the given sample below. Here is the sample dialogue. Title, Lucenahin, Bida Ka. Anchor, Today, we shall discuss about the current community quarantine status in Barangay Barra, Lucena City. We are fortunate to have with us 
a very special guest for this morning segment, Lucenahin Bidaka. To introduce, she is the Barangay Captain of Barra, Honoral Amelia P. Sovrevinas. Amelia, good morning, Mr. B. It's nice to be here in your program. Mr. B, first of all, how is your locality responding to COVID-19 pandemic? As the head of your barangay, what measures and interventions do you employ as coping mechanisms? Amelia, to recap, since the start of pandemic, we have been imposing stricter safety and health protocols in our barangay. We have been implementing and monitoring curfew hours to limit local transmission. So far, our constituents have been responding well to that campaign. Mr. B, that is why, as a result, your barangay is one with the fewest COVID cases in our city. Congratulations! And now, here are the verbal cues that use in the sample dialogue. And these are, Today, we shall discuss. In conclusion, To summarize, To introduce, To recap, To review, First of all, Our topic is, In the following order, Next, as a result, then. Remember, speakers use verbal and nonverbal cues to convey meaning. TV broadcasting is the distribution of video or other messages to a dispersed audience via television. A verbal cue is a prompt that is conveyed in spoken language from one person to another or a group of people. Nonverbal cue includes all the communications between people who do not have a direct verbal translation. They are body movements, body orientations, nuances of the voice, details of the dress and choice, and movements of objects that communicate. In TV broadcasting, verbal and nonverbal cues are used. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!